this is super useful for anybody writing articles, putting up tweets, or making videos. If you're making content, this will help a lot. It's from one of the best experts there is. This guy has billions and billions of views on his content. I think you already know who it is. It's Mr. Beast. I've, I'm, I'm still on my deep dive. I'm still, still going, going in on Mr. Beast interviews and lessons and BTS, trying to learn as much as I can. I am a, somebody who is creating every single day. I am creating, I am trying to learn as much as I can and become better as fast as I can. So when I'm not actually producing, I'm learning about producing. And I had some pretty interesting notes that I got today from uh, from these two guys, Colin Samir. They spent 72 hours with Mr. Beast. They're good friends with him. They have a great podcast on creator lessons. And there were two things that stuck out that stuck out to me. One was direct advice from Mr. Beast to them. And then another another was something that I observed in Mr. Beast that I also see Netflix doing. And that's not with creating content, that's actually with personnel. But it's pretty interesting and it's a, it's a belief that I have and I see a lot of startup founders doing that wrong. And I think Mr. Beast does this very well and Netflix does it very well, it wrote a whole book in it. But I'm gonna start with this direct piece of advice that I think is useful for many content creators. And that is hard specifics do better. Hard specifics do better. So this is where this example comes from. These two guys on the podcast, Colin Samir, like I said, they are friends with Mr. Beast. And they were going to make a video called How the Paul Brothers Saved Boxing. Mr. Beast said, call it how Jake Paul saved the boxing industry. It creates a lot more intrigue because you're more specific. And if you actually look at Mr. Beast's videos, he does this with his content himself. So I'm going to tell you the last three titles or the titles for his last three videos. His most recent video, it's called Train versus Giant Pit. Train versus Giant Pit. He could have said a lot more in that because in the video, there's crashing cars, there's blowing up dynamite. He puts 10 jet engines on a car. Could have said all that stuff, but he found the best ones, kept it short and sweet, but also kept it specific. Train versus Giant Pit. Then the one before that, $1 versus $1 billion yacht. Mr. Beast loved, loves numbers. Actually, that's a very common, that's very common in article headlines as well. Three X, Y, and Z, 10 X, Y, and Z habits that are great for you. I have that in the title of this episode. This is episode number 24 of The Edward Show. By the way, thank you so much for tuning in. Can't, can't, believe, can't believe we're on 24 Eps. I can't believe we are on 24 Eps. It is pouring outside my window. I had a great day. I spent the day with an engineer from, from Microsoft. And we walked basically from the top of Manhattan down to the bottom of Manhattan. It was a beautiful afternoon before it started raining. And now I'm recording this podcast. And I love doing these. I love doing these. Sometimes I spend a really long time on preparation. I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to do another podcast. And then when I start recording, I'm so grateful that I get to record. I'm so grateful that I get to do these. I wish you could see me. I have a huge smile on my face right now as I am recording. This is very special for me. Number three from Mr. Beast, his third most recent video. Maybe you saw it. This is a great video. This was a very well-performing video as well. Ages 1 to 100 fight for $500,000. Look at all of those numbers. Ages 1 to 100 fight for $500,000. The specifics, nail the specifics. Put the specifics into the hook, into the title, especially into the title. Especially into the title. 
The specifics get people intrigued. It's an easy hook. It's something that many content creators do. BuzzFeed was great with that, for example. And then you it doesn't even have to completely like reflect everything in whatever piece of content it is. But in the intro, then you bring it back to the meat of the content in the intro. And that's that's what Mr. Beast does with a lot of his videos. And I really respect that. And I'm trying to do that myself, putting an effort into it, putting an effort every day into improving. You put in that effort every day, you learn. Maybe, you, maybe you're so certain that something is going to work. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. If you are actively producing, you know it has. And honestly, I love when th- I love when this happens. It's it sucks. It's awful. It actually just happened to me. But I know that it's going to make me better. It's when you think something is going to pop off, when you're so certain that something you put out there and you spend way too much time on it and you're so certain it's going to do well and then it doesn't. It flops. It flops. And you know what you do? I mean, if you're like me, you analyze, why didn't this work the way that I thought it would? And you come up with great lessons. The pain drives you to get better. I think it's I think it's totally fine. And I think it makes people stronger. That is how humans improve. It's with that it's with that pain, but you gotta produce. You gotta be consistent in producing. That's why that's why I always say this. I just put out a video about Oprah Winfrey and her and her journey. And it's not tracking as well as I hoped it would track. It's it the likes to views they they are they're not tracking as well as I hope they were track, and so I don't think it's going to go. I don't think it's going to go viral like my. I'm on a. I still have a good record this week because I've had two videos that have gotten several hundreds of thousands of views this week, and I changed the my concept. So I'm still doing really well. My video from yesterday when I recorded yesterday that video was at twenty thousand views. Now it's at two hundred and sixty thousand views. And it's going to go up a lot more. And so this idea, I have this, I had this one minute bio series idea, one minute biography series idea where I really focus on the journey and on the lessons gained from that journey. But with this Oprah video that I just put out, I didn't focus enough on the lessons. And that's what I realized afterwards. I didn't focus enough on the lessons. So I need to do that more in future videos. Sharing value is so important. Giving value, especially early on, is so important. It gets people excited. Whereas like, oh, this is going to be meaty. This is going to be useful. And then people share it right away and they keep listening and they're excited to keep listening because they believe that they are going to get value. And that's what I could have done better with the Oprah video that just came out. Just came out literally an hour ago. Just came out. And what happened was it didn't do as well as I thought. And I said, I got to go for a walk. I need to think about this. And then I went for a walk. I got caught in the rain, came back, started recording this podcast. We're moving on to the next part of the podcast now. I watched this video yesterday. I would totally recommend it. It's motivating, but you also learn a lot. And the video is about the opening of... Mr. Beast Burger. So Mr. Beast just opened a burger restaurant at the American Dream Mall. And you see it's a behind the scenes video from Colin Colin and Samir. And you see how he motivates his employees. And it's very similar to what Netflix does. So the mall is completely packed with fans from Mr. Beast who want to meet Mr. Beast, take a picture with him, get his autograph, and have a burger. In fact, there are so many people that they set the record three times over for most burgers sold in a day, most hamburgers sold in a day. That's how many people there are. I think they sell... Well, I I don't... don't, It's it's a lot. I don't don't remember the exact number. I just remember three times the record. They sell a lot, of, a lot of burgers and there's a lot of people in the mall. I think, how much was it? There, yeah, the record, actually, I can tell you. The record was 2,000 and they sold 6,500 burgers, something like that. And 
there were a lot of people in the mall, a lot of people. And uh, it's, it's crazy. But so here's what Mr. Beast does. He always talks about how important talent is. And he always, he takes, he's famous for investing his money back into his businesses rather than pocketing it. Like just investing a, a lot of it, kind of like without whim, it would, it would even seem at times. But it's also, I think it's also calculated. I think there, there's a bunch of lo logic there, especially with this move. So he says to the employees on opening, hey, this is a very important day. This sets the stage for the brand of Mr. Beast Burger. There's a lot of people out there and we're going to do an amazing job. And there's a lot really riding on this because there's so many people out there. And if they have a bad time, they're going to share it on social media. It's really going to make Mr. Beast brand look bad. It's very important that this goes well. And this is how he motivates them. He says, I am going to give each and every one of you an extra thousand dollars on top of your normal salary for today. And everyone's so happy. Remember, these are these are fry cooks. These are people working at, and some of them actually are just in for the day because they need all these extra people on staff. So whatever these people were going to get paid for, for the single day, like it, it could have even been because it's just a day's work. It could have been a couple hundred dollars. They get an extra grand and you can tell they are excited and they are motivated. And it was a, and it's a great move. If you read No Rules Rules about Netflix, so the title of the book is No Rules Rules, Netflix and, and the Culture of Reinvention. Netflix preaches a bunch of things about employees. They say, you want to hire the best, then that's what they do. They hire the best and then they give them the best. They hire the best and they give them what is top of the market in terms of pay. And then they give these people complete trust, freedom and responsibility, as long as it's in the best interest of the company. And then they're candid about mistakes and they're always trying to learn. But what Mr. Beast is doing specifically, giving the extra thousand dollars to everyone at the opening day, he is he is motivating them because he's because motivation and compensation is very important. And he, you can really show somebody that you believe in them like that. I really just believe talent. I believe talent is so important. I think so many managers, I think, like, not think, I've seen it happen. Everyone's seen it happen. Companies become bloated. I think, uh, I think Steve Jobs, he calls it, <laughs> he calls it like a team of, of bozos or something. Whereas like what happens is someone, an A player accidentally hires like an A minus player who hires a B plus player who hires who hires a team of C players and then the C players hire worse players. And so it's just so important to focus on talent and then retain that talent, retain that talent and motivate the talent to really do well. And that's what Mr. Beast did in this video. So much to learn. So recap of this is focus on the specifics, give value early on, that was a lesson that I just got. Give value early on and focus on talent. Focus on developing yourself as talent. If you have employees, compensate them, get the best that you can and compensate them at top of the market. That's episode 24 of the Edward Show. Thank you so much. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.